Hello, my name is Eve Botello and I'm a fibre artist and I specialise in machine embroidered landscapes. Welcome to my studio. I'm going to demonstrate the very beginning of machine embroidery. This is free motion embroidery and these pieces are thread paintings. I will begin with showing you how to sew free motion without the foot on the sewing machine and with the feed dogs down and then we'll go from there. I use a, a Benina sewing machine and this is your basic mechanical sewing machine. It's not computerized and it's very easy to use. I will start by showing you how to set up your table for machine embroidery. Um, you need to have a variety of colored uh, spools and a variety of colored threads. You can see the number here that I have. You need a good pair of embroidery scissors, an embroidery hoop, and some cotton to begin practicing. You can see here that the feed dogs are elevated. I'm going to switch this and turn them down. So this is nice and flat. Lift the little lever up and remove the presser foot. And then I'm going to put the lever down that is behind. Don't leave that up because uh, when you're sewing it will cause your threads to get tangled underneath. Take your spool case out. You can see the tiny little screw here. This is for loosening and tightening the tension in the spool. This will be in a neutral position to begin with. Later on I'm going to show you how to loosen it again and create some different stitches. So, not all sewing machines have a spool case that is so easy to reach and you're going to have to read the instructions in your own manual to see how yours works. But you place the, the bobbin into the case and pull that and you can see that's fairly secure. I particularly like the Bonina sewing machine because it has a front opening which means I can continually change the colors very quickly. I'm going to be working with a different colored thread in the bottom to the color in the top of the sewing machine. And you'll be able to see why as we progress further into this tutorial. This tension here is going to be in a neutral position as well. Now, your fabric needs to be in the embroidery hoop and it needs to be very tightly into the embroidery hoop. This stops the thread from tangling up when you're doing free motion embroidery. It almost needs to be as tight as a drum. Place it under the needle and now I'm going to catch the thread from underneath using the wheel at the side. Here you are, you can see I have pink in the bottom. Now just to begin to get the feel of the sewing machine, put the foot slowly down on the pedal and move this smoothly. And then just play around with the designs. Do some doodles until you feel comfortable. And you can see I'm moving this at a fairly smooth rate. And these patterns are really just to begin to get the feeling of using a sewing machine like this. If you're already a sewer, it's not going to be that much of a change. But the difference is you don't have the presser foot guiding your fabric. You're going to be the one guiding and making the patterns. Once again, put the needle down, pull the thread up, and move it backwards and forwards as though you're making some pencil sketches. Pencil lines, I should say. And you can see the different effects that you can get. This is all just to practice and to begin to feel comfortable doing free motion embroidery.
just making simple marks. The reason I do that is it avoids it becoming tangled underneath and then you can snip off the ends when you're finished. Here's some ideas for practicing. Now I'm going to show you how to use the zigzag stitch to create marks. Here's the button for changing the width of your zigzag. It goes from 0 to 5 and I'll put it on say 2 just for the beginning. Okay so you alter the width of your zigzag stitch by moving the lever, you can see I'm now making it narrower, I'm moving towards one to two. You can see the possibilities of the pattern seat you can make by moving it in different ways and altering the width of the zigzag. You can make leaf, leaf shapes and uh, if you want it wide and if you want to have it far apart and you're just filling in big areas like this you can see by moving it more quickly as I'm sewing you get very different effects. So take a blank piece of cotton and just practice and play around until you really feel comfortable with holding and guiding it. I have to admit that initially it can feel a frustrating process because you're learning to um, use your, the speed of your foot and coordinate it with the speed of your hands. It's sort of like driving, but once you've got the hang of it, you can see you can have a lot of fun. Don't get too easily frustrated. Just accept it as part of the learning process. So we've covered the zigzag stitch, moving the, the um, numbers from 0 to 5, and here's a few different patterns that you can make. Just have fun playing around with it. Now we're going to do the whip stitch, and this involves playing around with the tension in the bobbin. For this stitch, we're going to have the bobbin case loosened and this top tension we will tighten, which means ultimately that we're pulling thread up from underneath. Okay, this is back to straight stitch to begin again. Some of you will have noticed that I actually work fairly near the sewing machine and you may wonder how I avoid um, sewing my finger into this but this is practice so if you're not comfortable doing this you can use a darning foot which gives you some protection. Now, I hope you can see that the pink thread underneath is showing. And this is called the whip stitch. almost creates little flowers. I am going to loosen it even more so that you can see. You can see that you can create grass effects. Not effects. Here are some of them. 
And this one shows well because of the different colours underneath. If we zoom in, you can see these are tiny little knots which would look like French knots. Which take a long time to do in hand sewing. Now if you're wanting to fill in big areas, you can change again to the zigzag stitch. And these are some of the effects that I use when I'm wanting to fill in shading on trees or on the, on the ground. demonstrate using a zigzag how to create the effect of some of the flowers you saw in that picture. This is using a zigzag stitch. Uh, the tension is on a normal tension and I'm using the little button at the side of the sewing machine to move the width from one up to a four. you some idea then I will change the color and we'll do some leaves tension again is normal I haven't got anything tightened or loosened beginning on a zero I'm slowly moving making it larger and larger you may find it tricky because you're guiding the hoop with one hand and having to change the width with the dial but practice makes perfect initially it seems awkward but you get the hang of it more you do it so that really closes out on my tutorial on beginners free motion embroidery if you've enjoyed this and would like to learn more about free motion embroidery, please visit my website www.evebatello.com. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.